Hello, Michael Gaffney. It's Michael Gaffney here, your flower professor. Um, let's do some designing. We're going to work on this, a classic urn. Uh, what can I tell you about flower design? First of all, you have to decide pretty much what you're going to do. You have a picture of everything in your head. I don't just start throwing flowers in. That's when you get into trouble. So. The more images you look at online, the bigger the dictionary in your head will grow and you'll have experience to pull from. I kind of know what this is going to look like. Before I even start, I'm going to do a round mixed uh, mass design, meaning very full. Uh, we only do one-sided arrangements or all around in this business. We rarely don't do a two-thirds, so it's either facing you or all around. Uh, all around is more popular, has been for about the last 10, 15 years, but we still do one-sided designs for like churches and special events. Uh, remember these flowers are all came in a box from Michael's Flower Farm. I have enough flowers here to do about $150 worth of arrangements. They cost me about $85 from Michael's Flower Farm. Um, so check it out, check it out. I've got Luca Dendrum. I've got Heather. This, and this is Valentine's Day week where this stuff is like, this, I, I'd sell for $30 a bunch. Uh, these hypericum berries are averaging around $25, about $250 a stem. These lilies are uh, easily $4 a stem this week. So I've got $40, $50, $60, $70, $80, $90, $100, $10, $20, $30, 40 i have got $150 worth of flowers that are costing about $85 from Michael's Flower Garden. So I have enough material to do two arrangements. So what I did is I took a block of foam first. I wet it and dropped it in. I'm going to show you what I do when I block in. I'm going to take this spare piece of foam and I'm going to cut some bread slices, I call it. It's a, an older piece of foam that I have left over. And I'm going to block in, oops, block in my foam like that, down the sides. I call it blocking in. I don't, I rarely tape. You know how you see florists run that tape across their foam? I go like that and I snap it off. I go like that, I snap it off. And I go like that and I'm ready to design. It took me about two minutes. Less than two minutes, it took me about 40 seconds. There's a little bit of dryness on there, so I'll go put it under the sink and get it a little bit wetter. Don't go away. And that is how I prep for my design. You'll see florists that they run tape back and forth to tape it in. <laughs> I ask, if you watch other videos, I watch my cameraman, how many times do you think in 30 years I dropped this and it splattered all over the place? Um, and the correct answer is zero. I've never dropped one. So I've been taping for not for 30 years, except I don't tape, I block in. And the reason you block in, and other floors will be like, oh, that's so bad. No, it's the right thing to do. First of all, I'm charging for that extra foam. And second of all, when this, when you block it in, you add more playing surface to hit with your flowers. If you have just that single block and then you tape it in, it's going to be very wiggly. And if your flowers goes through the foam and lands up here and it's not filled with water, it'll be sitting in air. Like that down here. So when you have more foam, you have more playing field. It's like playing polo. You got a bigger field to go on. So where am I going to start? I often start, and you should too, by laying out my greenery. I'm using magnolia. I'm going to do a little bit of lower deck in my books. Uh, design star. Uh, it, it goes over the decks in design star. So you want to get that one. Here is my penthouse. So I'm basically setting a um, dimension of this design by doing a little bit of lower deck. Uh, set the height with the penthouse and set the middle deck right there. See how that works? You're building a building. And the first thing I'm doing is laying the foundation. Lower deck, upper deck, penthouse. So there is upper deck. And there is upper deck. So I've used one bunch of magnolia. Who doesn't love a magnolia leaf? There is my lower deck. I'm going to drop my penthouse. These are only going in the foam about that much. Do not be digging for oil every time 
you stick a uh, flower into a block of foam. There is my upper deck, so I'm going to spin it around, check it out. Oh, that one's sticking out a little bit too far. Calm that one down. And I'm going to continue to fill in my decks. Lower deck, upper deck, penthouse, all around the house. Um, you can do single leaves if you can get a decent stem on here. Put a nice cut in there. You can still use up the ones that broke off. So I have now set the parameters of my design with my magnolia leaves. Yeah, I'm going to use up these single ones. I'm going to cut it down a little bit here, put a nice sharp cut on that, and I'll be able to get it into that foam. Because I need a touch more green. Oh yeah, these are working nice. Depends on the bunch of magnolia you get. I have to have a bunch of the nice long, long, uh, uh, long enough stems on the bottom that I can get them into that foam and they won't fall out. So I have now greened in. This is called greening in. When you go and apply for a job, you say, I know how to green in. That's the lingo. You gotta walk the walk and talk the talk to get hired in this business. So there is my groundwork. I laid the foundation. Ooh, these leaves actually are working really nice, these little single leaves. They aren't gonna fall out. And they're gonna drink from the fountain of youth, which is the flower business water. These flowers right here are over two weeks, are going on two weeks old. And they're still looking good. Why? Because they came from Michael's Flower Farm. I have access to the greatest flowers in the world. FedEx overnight to you. Nobody FedExes overnight but me. Why? Because it's the only way to get flowers. Not spending four to five days on trains and boats and buses from foreign countries like Ecuador and Colombia. You need those flowers cut and those California farms, majority of our flowers are cut, boxed and, bed, boxed and sent to you overnight, which normally is about $185, $200 a box. But I have fed up. I'm, I'm part of the... Uh, California uh, Growers Association, so I get 85% off of shipping. I'm the only one who does it. Now, we're gonna take our primary, let's do our primary flower, which will be lilies, Asiatic lilies. Notice my red knife. It's like paring an apple. You clean off the stem and you give it a long cut like this to open up that stem. So I'm gonna put some lilies, lower neck, I mean middle deck, that's the upper deck. Upper deck, right there. Now I'm gonna hit that lower deck. It's like architecture, good. Nice, nice long cut, clean off these leaves. And you're gonna see right there, watch. I hit that lower deck straight out to the, pretty much straight out to the side. A slight tilt looking up. And notice how deep I'm putting these into the foam, about that much. I'm not driving them all the way down to the bottom of the, the container. Here we go, where do I have a big hole? You're all saying, fill that hole, Michael. Fill that hole right there, yes. So I'm spacing my flowers nice and spaced, pretty evenly all the way around. So I have a nice balance. And again, it depends on your budget, how many of these am I gonna add? It depends on how much money the customer gave me. Nobody gives you unlimited funds. Not even Jennifer Lopez, I think. Um, or any celebrity, they, they all, everybody has a budget. I've never had anyone say, do, do whatever you want. Money's no object. No, so I'm gonna put one right there. We have a hole. And I don't want a two full of lilies because I got other stuff coming. So I'm gonna put one more over on this side. So we've set our primary flower, which is uh, these Asiatic lilies. Now, how long does it take me? Three minutes. Now I'm going to take some leucodendron. So I'm doing a, basically a mass design. It means a solid round ball of flowers. Now I'm going to put some leucodendron in the cracks, maybe slightly beyond the valley of the lilies. Beyond the valley of the, what, finish, that, finish that movie title. Beyond the valley of the, yesterday I had a contest where I said, a little dab will do ya is from what TV commercial? When I was talking about adding spray on my flowers, I said, a little dab will do you. And I gave away a flower crazy to the first 
one who guessed. And the correct answer, I couldn't even remember. I knew it was a hair gel, but I didn't remember. It was called Brill Cream. So she won a uh, free flower crazy. I'm waiting for her to send me her address. So if you're watching this young lady, send me your address so I know where, because you won the contest. So look at that. Now I've added some Luke, Lucky Luke Adendrum. Very, uh, very common flower that people aren't aware of. It lasts a long time, it holds up great. See, I have enough flowers for Michael's flower garden. I can do a whole nother arrangement. Plenty, plenty, plenty of flowers left over. Now let's do, ooh, some beautiful dark, almost black berries. Look at that, I don't know if you can see that on camera. It's very dramatic. I was wondering today whether I should be, put some drama in the Bahamas here today. I had the red ones in my hand, but I chose these black ones. Now, you're getting down to where you're really punching a lot of holes in that foam. That's another reason you don't want to go too deep. I'm only going to put this in about that far, because otherwise your foam will start cracking open inside that urn. Ooh, those blackberries. That was a good choice. Now, look at that. Pretty, pretty. Now we're gonna do a little bit of, I gotta make sure it's on camera, a little bit of old, good old Irish Heather. And same way. Or we could just do this around the bottom. That would be kind of cool. I'm just gonna put a ring of Heather around the bottom. And that's what I'm gonna do. So uh, this time I'm just putting, that would be called collaring, like a shirt collar. You're gonna collar around the bottom with your Heather. So again, you could easily for eight, this, this in this urn would reach, is very expensive. This urn is 30, you got 30, 60, 78, 90, 100, probably 125, 30, you could do two of these, $260 retail with your 85 to $100 worth of flowers from my flower guys. You have enough Heather and berries left over to do another. In fact, I'll do a companion piece, how's that? Now I've got, um, China and lily grass. How do you utilize this? Always in bunches, never be seen trying to get a single stem in your boss will be like, where the hell did they go to school? You're gonna cut this, and you're gonna form out of multiple pieces like a stem. And we're gonna, we're gonna stick a little lily grass in there uh, to give it a little style. So again, buy the whole bunch like this, reach in there, feel that foam and feed, feed, feed into your design. Stop holding your flowers, by the way, up here. People go like this, and they struggle to get it in. You need to hold your flowers like a writing pen. Dear John, and you can get your hand in there, and you need to feed, feed, feed into your design. Don't try and stick it in with from halfway up the stem. So now I've got my lily grass in here, and I'm going to put this at the event tonight, sitting on the sitting on the buffet table or in the entryway, and this took me all of about what seven minutes to make. Ta-da! Pretty manly colors too. Nice for fall. Uh, I'm gonna bring it around to the camera to get a close up. My cameraman is not here today. There you go. You see those black berries in there? Spin it around. Right there. Sometimes flowers look better on camera. Usually they look much better in real life. So we're giving you a close up. You can see what I made in about seven minutes of time. Um, voila, 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 as they say in Paris. Then, of course, you're going to take that spray that comes in your box from Michael's Flower Garden. You're going to spray this. Like that. Now this thing will last for two weeks. Every once in a while I'm going to set it under the sink. Put some fresh water in there. And stay tuned. I'm going to do a companion piece it's called. And this little one. A companion piece means it goes with that piece. I'm going to set this piece off to the side. Beautiful, beautiful. There's the top. Again, sometimes they're so much prettier in real life than they are on film. But... It depends. So uh, go to Flower School 101. Go to michaelsflowergarden.com. 
Go wherever you want, but find my products because you will be designing like this in no time. This is so easy. As you see, go watch this video again two or three times and see lower deck, upper deck, penthouse, penthouse, upper deck, lower deck. Hit all the decks. Spread your flowers evenly. Um, collar with a few items like I did. That's another technique. Simple technique. Every great flower arrangement you show me, I'll get, tell you the one or two chest moves they did to checkmate. Um, and I like this one. Very cool. Very pretty. So stay tuned. I'm going to come back and do the uh, companion piece in this little urn. This will be for the powder room or for the entryway. Not the entryway. Where were we? The side table at the party. All right. Michael Gaffney telling you to keep blooming. Flower School 101.com. See you in class.